Hello and welcome back. I'm Emily and today I have my favorite thing to do, album shares. So this is 2015, the June and July. You see it? There you go. Um, the other two albums that I have to share are on the channel. I will link them below if you want to catch up. 2015, if you're new here, is the first year that I took up traditional scrapbooking again after I had taken a huge break for about 10 years from it. So this is when I first started back up again. And I used to do it by month, but I take too many pictures to do it by month. So I just split it back into the weeks. So I do 12 by 12 and Project Life all smooshed together. So here is my June. I'm sorry about the glare. These little lights get us. So these are my boys at the grocery store. Look at that little faces. They're so cute. This is still by far their favorite thing to do is sit in these little carts. But I love this. It's just super simple. I did kind of like a heart border. A little embellishment at the bottom. So I just, I think they're just the cutest little thing. So I'm a little obsessed. Here is a layout. It's called Hello Summer. This is just a fun little layout. When we went to the pool that was by our house. I love these little pinwheels. Super, super cute. And I love the sparkly this one over here is still one of my favorite layouts I ever did. It is so, look at how cute his face is. It's so fun. I love the negative space. I love all of these strips that I used. These are some vellum stars, but I just really like it. I like all of these cute little bugs. Very cute. That's Jackson. Oh, he's so cute. On the back. Here is some more pool. It's my husband and recent Jack. But I loved this collection. I think, was it called? It was Cute Kid, right? And then there was a girl one that was Cute Girl. But, oh, I love it. Super, super cute. I believe this is Amy Tangerine paper. Then I have, let's move on. These, we moved about a year ago. All my albums got a little funky. And so all the pages are kind of like bent. I don't know. Oh, boy. So this one is just dad and me. I have so many of these and things. So I think this one I was trying to kind of use them up. There's a little cluster at the top. Some paper that was already made. So it was a lot easier. And then just Reese feeding himself his little bottle. It's hard to believe that he would do that. Because now he's almost seven. This is a hot dog place we used to go to when we lived in South Carolina. It was called Perfectly Frank's. I believe it may be out of business now, but this is a really sweet picture of my grandma and Jackson hanging out. She used to live with us before she passed away. So I really like always finding cute little memories of her in my books. We got a, I think wait, my husband calls them orange cows. It's like orange soda and ice cream. So the boys had orange cows. Super cute little faces. We, I mean, they still love hot dogs. I know hot dogs are not the most healthy thing in the world, but man, kids love hot dogs. <laughs> and then this is just a fun little random. Here is my nephew. We're playing Pretty Pretty Princess because that's what you do when you babysit and have three boys to play with. <laughs> so it was super, super fun. I love getting these sweet little memes and cartoons off of Facebook. Here we're playing. So, and then I did a little journaling, but I used to type up everything because I really did not like my handwriting and I am the worst speller in the whole world, but then I just gave up. It was taking too long. I'm obsessed with this background paper. That collection was amazing. It's so cute. So here's us having a little applesauce break. I'm sorry, my dog, I don't know if you can hear her. She is like freaking out. <laughs> so here is some sweet cute little things, a hot air balloon, a don't grow up. I still wish they'd chill out for just a little bit because it's, oh, it's too fast. This is, I believe, an Echo Park, like, pirate collection. So they were digging in the sand, so I thought that was perfect little title for that. I'm just playing in the sand. It was nice to live by the beach. Now we live in the mountains. It's still pretty, but I liked the beach. Here's one of my dreaded six by six page protectors. Oh, I hate these things. I've used them all up though. I think this year I got through them all. <laughs> I used a lot this album. 
This is just a fun little wooden thing that I got at Michael's when Michael's used to carry fun crafty things. Me and Reese. A very random picture of me. I mean, it's almost impossible to see pictures of me. Here is another 6x6. Six six. <laughs> this is the funniest story. So this is like an ongoing thing with me and Jackson that I'm just like, okay, I guess this, I'll take that as a yes. Even though he... He definitely said no. So this is some peekaboo. This was, so this was a frame and then I put backing from that collection and then put a sticker on it and it was perfect. And look at that cute little face. Reese is such a little gooby guy. He's so funny. Then, oh, this one is very green. I love it. So we made a cake this day and more pretty, pretty princess. And then we ate that cake. Looks like I made a... Oh, you know what? I bought that at the grocery store. It's a rainbow cake. Then we had a popcorn party. It's always fun to come to my house. This popcorn popper was amazing. We had it till recently and then we were popping popcorn and it caught on fire. It was <laughs> horrifying but terrible and the whole house smelled like popcorn for like a month. So this is us eating popcorn. That was like their favorite thing, watching the popcorn coming out. Then here's Reese at nine months. I love this one. So I like really feel like I was on my clustering game this year because it was like my first time doing it. I was really excited. I didn't feel the urgency yet like I do now. But I mean, look how sweet that little cluster is. The little tissue paper. Yeah, tissue paper. So I love it. It's sweet. It's cute. And let's see. This one is titled There's Nobody Like a Brother. And it's true. These guys have always been BFFs. They're so sweet. This is when we got our new car. We traded in our blue Jeep, which I still miss to this day. And I loved it. It would not fit us all now. But when we, my grandma moved in with us, she wouldn't, we all five couldn't fit in the Jeep. So we transformed into a minivan. So I got to use all these little cars that I never really could use. And this is us looking in the van. Jackson still talks about how he misses the, va the blue car. It's hilarious. We don't even have this van anymore. We have a new car. This is my parents with my aunt and my uncle. And they were driving around a boat around Charleston. So I rip. I, um, this is, a, I think, a branding strip maybe or maybe one of those stickers. And then these were from Amy Tan's collection and I just cut them out of the giant paper and I like placed them. And I think this looks amazing and I love this navy and white paper. I want to put it everywhere in my house. So I love this layout. It's really, really sweet. I like the little houses because it looks like Rainbow Row. Then this is when we took a trip to Kentucky. Our friends were getting married and Jackson was the ring bearer and he was adorable. And this is a layout that I have on the site before I changed kind of my structure. Um, but I love this layout. I think it's really cute. I'm obsessed with the dress. It was really fun. Um, it's not easy going to a wedding when you are nursing because nothing looks good to nursing. <laughs> but this is the biggest tag I've ever seen in my whole life. I mean, it legit came like this, like this big, like I didn't make it that big. But I love this. I'll, if I can find this video, I'll link it down below because it's really cute. This is Dwayne and Leisha. They got married at Keeneland, which is a racetrack in Lexington. Um, it's where Seabiscuit was shot. If you were the movie, not the animal. <laughs> um, but this is just a little bit of journey about it. It was really cool. They love horse racing. So it was really fun to be at the racetrack. And my husband was one of the groomsmen, so he got to be in it. And this is the wedding party. And then there's little Jackson. Look how cute he is. So I used those 6x6 six six paper pads. Their colors were blue and white, because if you don't know, University of Kentucky is blue and white. And that's where me and my husband met. And I just used a lot of blue and white patterns. I threw in some green to kind of go with these trees. But weddings are hard to do, especially when they're not yours, because you want to, like, Give them the credit, but you don't really, like, know how many to use. So Reese and I think it was Leisha's nephew 
where the little ring bears and they walk down saying, here comes your bride. It was very cute, but the pictures turned out really great. I was really happy that Lisha sent me some because I love putting them in the books. So there's just a couple of their photo ones. I didn't want to embellish too much because the picture is really what we're going for here, but I did some layers of flowers. It was just really pretty. Some more. I just used the same piece of paper. I backed it with some tissue paper and put it on it. Then here is them cutting their cakes and he smashed it in her face. <laughs> and then here's some dancing. This is some paper that I made and some embellishments that I made. Jackson had the time of his life. He loves to dance. So we went to like four weddings. Was it four? I think four weddings this year. And Jackson was like busting a move and everything single one. So here's just some more pictures. I didn't do any embellishments on here. I just added a filler card because it was getting busy. So here's a sweet one. Reese fell asleep. I mean, he's only nine months, but he did pretty good. He likes to party. So Jackson was adorable. Just some really, really sweet pictures. I don't like to over embellish a lot of these. These are just through six in nothing. Ex I didn't do anything to these. I mean, I probably could go back and do some, but my guess is I was so tired of scrapbooking these same pictures over and over again that I was like, I need to get done. So I really like this one. It's of the four of us. I think that's really cute. Then, oh, another six by six. I'm telling you, I hate these things. So there's Reese in his pack and play. I mean, seriously, he's adorable. And the wedding photographer shot that one. I love it. This is like one of my favorite pictures. It says party like a rock star because Jackson definitely did. And here's our party animal now. So I just stick some blue paper for these two and then a pattern paper for these. These are embellishments that I made. I want to say these are leftover from my Easter ones that I used. But I mean, Reese or Jackson like had the best time. It's I mean, look at the pure joy. He's so cute. And he had his little cup. Oh, so adorable. And then the hotel had an awesome pool. So I made some fun paper and used a ton of my blue washi because, you know, you got a lot of washi in there. And oh, and then this was Father's Day weekend, I believe. So this is what I helped the boys make for Father's Day. And... My husband's family lives in Kentucky, so we surprised his grandfather and went and hung out for Father's Day. So this was a Echo Park Father's Day, like, little collection. You know how they used to do, like, little tiny ones? So I used those and some cool dad ones. And there, so his grandpa's name was Reese, and we named little Reese after him. So we always like having pictures of big Reese and little Reese together. So... There's the boys with their cousins. And then we drove back home. And these are my pictures with my dad for Father's Day. So we got him a cool shirt. This is still one of like my favorite things. Just saying that when you call, your dad's always like, I'll get your mother. Because, I mean, that's like completely my dad. There's my mom. She's so cute. The boys just love her. Then here's Reese. I mean, he's partying. He's hilarious. Reese is the best little funny faces. Here's a the my husband and Jackson dancing to this like silly cartoon that they love to watch. Here is Reese and this is just a sweet little layout. This is definitely Echo Park paper. And I mean, there's not a lot to say about this one. I just used some layers. I used a lot of straight lines. So I liked that it was all star themed, but different colors. There's Reese just hanging out, being super cool. Then it is my husband's 29th birthday. You can figure out how old he is now if you want to figure that out. But I just used some orange paper. I did some splatters. I used some birthday stuff and some fun things. We made this awesome cake for him. And then here is another one where he's blowing out his candles. It was a fun. I mean, birthdays are always great. Here are some pictures that I took for my mom, but I wanted to showcase them in like more of a portfolio. Here's a tree in their backyard. 
and then one of their beautiful flowers. But I like highlighting sometimes when I take like a real, I mean, my degree is in photography. <laughs> and I mean, I usually just take silly family portrait, that kind of things. But I like when I actually take real pictures. This is my July one. Here is, we. so we lived off of a golf course, okay? Like all back here is a golf course. And my grandma and Jackson would sit there for hours watching the birds and the squirrels. It was so cute. So I love that I captured this picture. They're so sweet together. Here is the 4th of July. And I love this. And I'll tell you why. These are all Project Life cards. And I layered them all like scattery. And then I added some stickers, but I love this. And look at these shirts that we made for them. Like where the stars would be is their handprints. And then we drew the stripes. Like how cute is that? That is a total Pinterest mom moment. We went to the River Dogs game for this 4th of July, which if you've never been to a baseball game on the 4th of July, like I highly recommend it. Adam's mom and her husband came into town to celebrate so we had lots of fun. So I really only embellished, yeah, this card and then that little star there. Didn't need a lot. There's a lot going on. Here's more of the game. There was a huge storm that came through, but we still got to do the fireworks. But these are two just two Project Life cards that I put together. Really fun. They gave everybody when you walked in an American flag, which is awesome and it looked beautiful but like everybody was stabbing each other with it by accident because it was like everybody had one so here's some more there's some fireworks I mean seriously like <laughs> he's so cute this is just a simple filler card here is more the game this is back at home later but I just kind of stuck it in there there's Jackson hoarding all of the flags on the way home and just another filler card. I actually really like this Project Life card. I like that it gave it its own moment there. Here's some me making some more splashes. Splattery thing splashes. Jeez, what's wrong with me today? So I just took some white paper and made like this awesome blue and white. Okay, so these little pattern little stamps here are from the sweet stamp shop. I don't believe she's around anymore. But I had, so like, I think like six months from this, I had dental surgery and they put me on these crazy medicines. And I, when I was out, I like blacked out and ordered a bunch of stamps. I mean, I know I use them. Oh, there's a kid screaming. Um, but I love them. So it's always, every time I see anything, I crack up. Sorry, kid screaming. <laughs> All right, here I like to document a lot of things awesome that happen. This is when the women's soccer team won the World Cup. And they don't always show women stuff. So, okay, so this was a huge birthday party I did for my mom and my husband. Um, so it was, this is the baby monitor. I redo these when the kids go to sleep and Margo woke up. So my husband's upstairs. So I'm going to turn it down. And so I made these awesome cakes. I decorated the whole house in Hawaiian. I mean, I'll show you. So I did these cakes. It took so much time. I used all the decorations that I used to decorate the house to decorate the paper. So that's what I used for all of these is what I already had because usually you like have a party and throw stuff away. So here's my parent or my mom and my husband in front of their cakes, which I'm so proud of myself still for making. So here's one of those giant parrots I used. Here is Jackson and my mom and Atticus, my nephew. And we had so much fun. It was so much fun doing a luau. I love luau's. Everybody had to dress up in Hawaiian themes. So my dad got this like super goofy pineapple like tank top because it's all he could find. And it's hilarious because it was like before Hawaiian stuff was like super big again. I made this silly thing on Photoshop, like badly on purpose Photoshopped. I didn't really think that it was like on purpose. Here's just a like journaling. We did coconut bowling. So I bought a coconut and we bolted down the aisle to like soda bottles that I wrapped like pineapples. This is before I had three kids and I had a lot more time on my hands. Then here is the little tiki bar that I made. I made a cute little sign showing where things were. I mean, ugh, look how cute that is. I usually only do this crazy for kids stuff now, but I had fun. Reese just wore his bathing suit. I mean, that's how you do it, right? 
Here's some more decorating. I painted these awesome surfboards here. And then we used a backdrop from probably Party City. But I love how these turned out with these big flowers. We had specialty drinks that you could make. We used a giant like parrot window thing. <laughs> this is so cute. I haven't looked through these in a while. I had a good time decorating this. But it was really fun. He had some fun drinks. Here is, oh, we did the, we did, um, oh gosh, what's wrong with me today? The limbo. And of course the baby won because he crawls. And we did like a tic-tac-toe Hawaiian theme thing. Look how cute this picture is of my mom. It's so cute. That's my mom and my sister. Then here is, this is one of my favorite pictures till today of Reese. Look at his little goofy baby face. He is so cute. So that's my husband and Reese. So like I said, I just used plain paper and then just added the decorations I used. Then we had sparklers left over from the 4th of July. So we did sparklers. So that was our sparkling. It was really fun. Oh, here is my attempt at shaker pockets. Because shaker pockets used to be really cool and I want to be cool. So the boys, we used to, when we do sparklers, we like stick their hands in a solo cup and then put the sparkler out so they don't have to get worried about burning. But I closed it up with washi tape. Then on the back, more sparklers, more shaker pockets, and more sparklers. So super cute. All right, so here is everybody doing the photo booth that I did. Here's my mother-in-law. And here's everybody. It was so much fun. I love when they do, Cray Paper does this all the time. They use the photographer's like paper background, like paperwork stuff. I think that's really cool. And here is more photo booths. Super fun. I mean, my dad, look how cute he is. And we had a great time. But I liked that I used all of the decorations to actually make this. Here is my sister's family before the other baby came. But this was decorations. And these were like confetti. So I stapled them on. Then here are the cakes. And we're doing birthdays. My mom loved Barbies when she was little. So I did a Barbie cake for her. And then blowing their cakes out. But I'm going to show you these close-ups of these cakes. I'm still super proud of these. Okay, so there's my mom's Barbie cake. And then I did like a waterfall thing for my husband. And it's little lifesavers with like, what are those? Golden Graham teddy bears. So still really proud of it. So there's one of the pirates that we use for decorations. I'm still really impressed with myself on that one. <laughs> then we did a tiki treasure hunt for the kids. So they had to like run around and look for stuff after we gave them clues. So all these birds have a home. They didn't go in the trash. Upcycling. <laughs> and here's more of them getting their little presents. And then we made little the bags like a tiki bags then party's over went to the park the next day it was super fun I love this paper I want to say it's Chamel's but I'm not positive and these are really sweet too this is just more playgrounds he's so cute Jackson's just such a big kid more playgrounds so I'm sure this is an echo park kit I love this Polaroid. So when, I don't remember where we got the ball pit. I think someone gave us it, that they were done with it. And it was, I don't remember. No, we bought the ball pit, I think. Who knows? Anyway, we had a ball pit, which was the worst thing that I've ever purchased in my whole life. However, we got it because you literally spend your whole day cleaning up the balls from the ball pit. So I used a bunch of my circle stickers and just stuck them all over the place. And this is Reese playing the ball pit. I mean, he loved the ball pit, but oof, there's a lot of mess. Now here's the boys being cute. We've got a funny little hat we found. This one's a, a little all over the place. It's a little busy, but that's okay. It's done and it's accomplished. 
All right, almost done. Here's Reese at 10 months. He is so cute. I use some cute little stickers. He's such a sweet guy. I use a whole bunch of filler cards here. Just added him in there. Here is Reese with Izzy. They have super, super friends there. But just cute. This is just day to day. I like how I use some just random hearts there. Jackson light up all of his dinosaurs in front of the TV. He always said that that was a parade. This one I thought was really funny. It was that if you named your kid after your pregnancies, what would they be? And Jackson, all I wanted was cherry limeade. And Reese, all I wanted to eat was Caesar salad. We ordered a new like pizza place and the calzone was like the size of a whole pizza. So I took a picture of that because it was hilarious. Here is my baby sleeping, passed out, cuddling a Mickey. So cute. And this is Jackson doing a puzzle with him. He's so adorable. I loved when they were really little like that. Here was a big boy sleepover. But I really like how this one turned out. I like how I did the frame. I think this was like the inside of a frame. So I saved that and I packed it and added a cute little thing. But I love how this one turned out too. This is the boys in the tub. Being real cute. Having fun. This is them cooking. I think we made brownies that day. So I just put a bunch of cute little cooking stickers. And so we, like I said, we lived on a golf course. And whenever Atticus would come over, my husband and him would go walk around the yard looking for golf balls. Because we had so many golf balls come in our yard. So it was really fun. And this is them, of course, we're having popcorn again. Oh, this one's so cute. So this is Atticus and Reese playing. And back here is my dog on the porch watching over watching them. This one turned out, I love this one. I love the cluster work I did. I did a bunch of strips in the back on white paper. There's a little cluster up there. But then I did this awesome cluster here. I had some watercolor paper cutouts that I watercolored orange and just a fun dinosaur you know crazy boy layout this is <laughs> they used to race up and down our hallway I mean they were both in diapers still then so I want to say I did this for an inky quill class that she did that this was one of her sketches but I just did a bunch of circles added some little embellishments a title, a picture, and then look how cute that is. So that's supposed to be them. Isn't it cute? Oh, this just never ends. Here is the boys playing some fillers. My sister and her family. Apparently we got an IC at the, the gas station. But we're just having fun. Oh, this is when we are potty training and we're reading a book about potty training while we potty train how serious he is and there's Reese with his puppy oh this was a big day this was Jackson's first time ever going to the movie theater Margot has still not gotten to go she's three now and we're still waiting on him being open but this is the three of us going to see his first movie we went to go see the Minion movie so it's funny though because Reese's second movie was a Despicable Me movie. And then I think probably whenever the new Minion movie comes out, we'll take Margot. But we just did a fun little layout. This was the movie theater we went to. So I can't believe how cute he is. He wore a Minion shirt. And while we were there, we took some fun pictures. He got his own popcorn. He was very, very excited to go. But just a little, that's the Beedo, like the Minions. Just some fun ones. This was actually like a banner for a school, like banners for the bulletin board. They got the Dollar Tree. And while we were there in his matching shirt, Reese got to hang out with his grandparents. So he had lots of fun playing. What was this called? The show Robobots? I don't remember, but they used to look. Oh, Animal Mechanicals. That's what they were watching. I should put that in there so I don't forget that again. But there's my dad with Jackson. So that's it for this album. This one is stuffed. But if you have any questions, please put them down below. Thank you so much for watching with me and I will see you soon. Bye.